Welcome to Faces Friday. I'm Lynn Sherritt, and I'm really pleased you've joined me. I've said before that the favorite thing I do is have conversations with my colleagues, those colleagues that are making a real difference in increasing students' growth and achievement. And so in this Faces Friday, I want you to meet my colleague from Armadale, Australia. Reg, I'm just thinking about putting faces on the data. I often get people who say, oh, we're in a secondary school. You know how many students we have? We're too big to put faces on the data. What do you think? Uh, I, it, it is challenging, but I think in, it's so important to do it. You can see behind me, <laughs> this is one way we moved um, our staff from my students to our students. So behind me are some of our year 12, 2021. 20, so our final students. And one of the things um, we did right from when we started this work, this was our first real attempt at a data wall. Uh, this is has a photo of each student and what is their learning goal for year 12? What do they want to achieve? It might be, I want to get a certain uh, result so I can go to university in Sydney. It might be, I want to finish my school-based apprenticeship. So every pathway is valued. Yep. It takes away that, oh, they've missed my class. And we go to the wall and go, well, where are they heading? And what? how can we support these students? Mm -hmm. But they're not, they don't just sit up there and that's it for the year. We actually go to the wall often and the students get their learning goals back often too. So they revisit their learning goal and go, right, well, I've learned a little bit more. I think I could aim this way or that way. So that was one of our first attempts at a data wall and a really successful one to break down that my classroom. It became our students because we're all responsible for our students achieving their learning goals. Yeah. Um, other ones we've done, and I'll be honest, it's really, we're working on this this year. This is our real focus in 2021 is data analysis mm -hmm. and also valuing all sorts of data because I think one of the areas, and I'm not sure whether this is similar in primary, but definitely in secondary, people hear data and only hear numbers. Yeah. And for me, as a scientist, I go, well, quantitative data, very important not denying that but yeah. so is qualitative data so yeah. your work samples sitting around working together around where is this student what's their next steps yeah. but involving the student in that so you you look at each other's work and your own work what's your next steps in your learning going to look like so we've had um faculty-based data walls so our science staff will collaboratively mark uh, short tasks and they will move students along um, a data wall. Yeah. Our creative and performing arts uh, faculty do the same thing. And these are all in our staff room so that other teachers out of the faculty hear the conversations that are happening. Yeah. And other faculties visit the walls and go, right, well, in, in our area. So it's about making it visible and it, it's about um, those conversations are so important, that construction of moving students along and where they're at. So, as I said, a big focus for us for 2021, working in year groups uh, mm -hmm. to look at different data and then picking, and I think this is important too, picking either a mini cohort or individual students and then working with how do we move that group forward. Yeah doesn't have to be an individual student. No. It might be these students sitting at like a benchmark that we can do, use exactly. certain things yeah. across the school to help them achieve their learning goal. Absolutely. And I've been talking about marker students. So you would be thinking of marker students, so a group of students or one student, but that represent many other students. And in a large secondary school, that really works. Here's my marker student or students uh, that represent 10 other students exhibiting the same traits. And here's how we're going to try as a team of teachers that teach this student. So it's really a collaborative process, um, mm -hmm. looking again at the faces and thinking about instruction. So I really wanted uh, to, to say here that the data wall is about the rich conversations. 
data wall is yeah. about instruction. Here's a group of students and they seem to be stuck. How are we together going to find the strategies that will uh, move them forward? So thanks for that, um, Red. One thing, one yeah. thing, Lynn, too, it's not about it being perfect either. That exactly. it, it, yeah. it can't be. And, it, and you're going to do data walls and go, well, that, that didn't work. What was the right. point of that? Except we can say we've got one. So yeah. I think it's also don't be afraid to take a risk and then go, well, that didn't work. Like that um, yeah. fail quickly and then yeah, <laughs> try. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it'll fail fast. And, that, and I, yeah. I talk about um, data walls and, and they, they mustn't be pretty. They need to be pretty useful. So I really like, uh, I really like neat at home, but on the data wall, it's okay to be messy. And actually we want to have post-its there so people can put um, their thinking, their questions right beside the wall so that we, we really get those ongoing conversations. Thanks so much, Reg. Um, I just think that, uh, that you really, um, are um, really pulling it together, not only at the secondary level and in Armadale, but you are providing that support for so many other leaders right across Australia and the globe. And I really want to thank you for that. You are making a difference, not only to your students, but also your teachers. Thanks so much for being with me, Reg. Thanks, Lynn. It's great to talk to you. Yes. And Can't wait till you can visit. <laughs> oh, I'm waiting. Uh, it's pretty snowy here. So thanks, Reg. I want to be in the warmth with you. Uh, so thank you, everyone, for tuning in to Faces Friday. And uh, I'll be back next week uh, talking about uh, leadership that makes a difference. Reg is making a difference at her secondary school and uh, for other schools across Australia. So thanks again, Reg, and uh, see everyone next week.